Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm here with Equip Me OT to talk about raised toilet seats. So I'm going to start with the simplest raised toilet seat solution that I know of, and that is a simple place toilet seat without any additional um, fixtures. So this requires no tools, requires no real skill in installation. So this is specifically made for round bowl toilets. These do come for elongated bowls, but make sure you check what type of toilet that this is gonna go on before purchasing. So they come with um, 300 pound weight capacity on this particular version. And they also are really useful if you're going to be moving your raised toilet seat from one bathroom to another or from one home to another or even bringing it on vacation. So this is a useful one for that. This gives you a five inch rise, which is pretty significant. So also take into consideration your personal height before making the purchase because on a standard toilet with a five inch rise, that's gonna give you nearly 20 inches of height from that sit to stand position, which is really helpful for some people, but maybe too tall for others. So the first thing to do with installation is about as easy as can be. You're gonna open the toilet seat up, including the seat. These are created to have a contoured design meant for you to sit directly on. So you're not going to use a toilet seat on top. So what you're gonna do for installation is simply place it on the bowl. It should fit snugly, so it may not go on super easy. Once it's on and in place, you wanna check and make sure that there are not a lot of gaps at the bottom. You also wanna to try to turn side to side, see if it has any give to it. It should not move much. Um, and I didn't mention before, but there are these black, usually black, rubber placing hold um, feet on these. Make sure you check to see that these are present before installing. They're gonna really help with that grip, especially if you buy it used or um, are borrowing it. So again, I'm gonna place this here on the toilet. It looks good, everything's squared up. I'm now I'm gonna try it out. Now this is important too, to take into consideration is if you're gonna try something like this, I always recommend having somebody who's maybe more able-bodied or comfortable with the sit to stand transfer, trying it before having somebody where it may be more difficult because if it isn't secure enough, the risk of fall is significantly higher for the person who may be a little bit weaker or have a disability of some kind. So I'm gonna come on up to a stand here I'm going to set my hands back and I'm going to press down on the seat before I sit. I'm going to sit squarely back on the seat with my bottom completely covering the circle. You do not want to sit on the front of these because again, they're not mounted. So if you were to accidentally sit on the very front, you could run the risk of tipping the seat forward, which could be dangerous. So again, squared up on the back. I'm wiggling a little to check its stability. Everything looks good and I'm very safe and comfortable. So I'm gonna to come to a stand now. Again, I'm gonna hold my hands down here to kind of push, and I'm gonna lift like that. You shouldn't see a lot of movement in the seat when you come to a stand. If it does move, you may wanna consider a different product or reinstalling to see if there's perhaps an issue with the original installation. That's all there is for that. If you have any questions regarding the products, there's gonna be details available in the information section. And if you're interested in more information about other products, please consider following and subscribing to this YouTube page. Um, feel free to ask questions in the comment section below. Thank you.